Okay. So, brothers and sisters, we got that? Fine. Ana Muhammad. Ana Muhammad. Ana. Now describe Ana. No, brother. That was in book one. <laughs> now you have to say in a, in a more eloquent way. Ana. Damirun. Munfasilun. Mabniun ala. Sukun. <laughs> Sukun. Ah, no, 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 brother. Damirun. Munfasilun. Mabniun ala. Sukun. Now it is Mabni, so I have to say. Fi mahalli. Rafain. Muftada. This is how you will describe. Are you with me? But that is when you write your BA examination or MA examination. Okay? But we have the tools. We have the understanding. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We have the understanding to say these things. And when they are said, we understand and appreciate it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Muhammad. Khabarun. Marfu'un. Wa alamatu rafa'ihi. Dammatun. Muqaddaratun. Ala ya'il ma'zufati. You have to say ala ya'il ma'zufati. Because where is the damma muqaddara? On the ya. Where is that ya? It is dropped. Ma'zuf. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you'll be able to do it. Okay? Now, we have studied quite a bit today, alhamdulillah. Now we take a short break, brothers and sisters. Uh, let's enjoy our tea and a uh, few snacks, and then we'll continue. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Hope you enjoyed some hot tea and some snacks. And we are, our batteries are recharged for our next session. Al Marfuat. What is Al Marfuat? Jama. What is singular? Marfu'un. Al Marfuat Min Al Asma. You know, where is the noun Marfu? Huh? Where, where do you find the noun Marfu? Number one, Mubtada and Khabar. They are both Marfu. Are you? Allahu. Marfu, Muftada Marfu, Akbaru, Khabar Marfu, see, got the idea? So these things we have to make a note of it. Huh? Ismu Kana is always Marfu. Huh? Kana al Babu Maftu Han. Huh? So Ismu Kana, where is Ismu Kana? Al Babu. So it is always Marfu. Huh? Khabar Inna, not Ismu Inna, but Khabar Inna. In Allah, Gafu, Run, 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 Marfu, Mashallah. Al Fail, Khalakana, Allahu, Khalakana, Allahu. So, brother, where is the verb? Khalakana. And what is na? How will you describe it? Damirun, Mutasilun, Mabniun. Ala sukun fi mahali nasbin mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi is always nasab. Are you with me, brother? This is how we do this guy. And now comes our file. Allahu is your file. And brothers and sisters, whenever you describe Allah with a grammatical analysis, before you start your description, you will write down lafzul jalala. Lafz means word, word of majesty. Huh? This is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Okay, and then you will say, uh, how will I describe you, Allahu? First I'll say, Lafzul Jalalati. Fa'ilun marfu'un wa alamatu rafi'i dammatun zahiratun. Okay, inshallah. Brother Abdul Samad said, Brother Asif, you never mentioned zahir before, and we got confused. I said, the need to mention Zahir only became uh, urgent when you describe Mukaddara. So Mukaddara and Zahira, they go opposite, you know. So now that we are saying Mukaddara, Mukaddara all the time, now we can say Zahir also. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. 
nine file. We haven't studied this. We are going to study very soon. Nine file. What is the translation of nine file? Deputy file. What is it? Deputy file. This comes in passive voice. Okay, which we'll stu study. Holy Kalin Sanu. Man was created. Huh? So insanu is naif file. But the khulika, can you see khulika? We have never come across this form of verb. Khalaka became khulika. Huh? Khalaka, he created. Khulika, he was created or it was created. So we are going to learn this, inshallah, very soon, inshallah. Now, mansubat. Where will you find ism mansub? Okay, ismu inna, brother and sister, inna Allaha gafurun. So Allah is your ismu inna, and then khabaru kana, kana taamu lazizan. So khabar kana is mansub. Mafulun bihi, we know that. Fahim tu darsa. Now comes mafulun fihi. What is mafulun fihi, brothers and sisters? Looks like very difficult. Sister Mahanas? Sister Mahmuna? What is mafulun fihi? Brothers and sisters? Take a sigh of relief. It's nothing but zaf. What is it? Huh? This is a fancy name for zaf. I shouldn't say fancy. No. The point is this. When we see lesson number nine or somewhere there, a whole lesson comes with mafulun fihi. In other words, zarf. And Dr. Saab uses zarf most often. Huh? More often, zarf. Okay. Now, where do we say zarf mafulun fihi? When it is jumla failure. And in the jumla failure, if the zarf comes, then it is said it is mafulun fihi. Okay? Are you with me? But otherwise, we say zarf. So when, Sister Madina, if you see a jumla failure and then uh, zarf is coming, we can say it is mafulun fihi. Look at the sentence, brothers and sisters. Safara abi laylan. See, laylan. Are you with me? Like al ana al barihata, yawman. These are all zarf. But see, the verb has come. Safara. Abi is fine. My father traveled by night. In the night. So, Lailan is a adverb of time. But here, Safar is form 3, mashallah. Bab Bufa'alatun, Fi'alun. Next sentence, Sister Madina. Look at the next sentence. Jalasal Mudarrisu. So, Jalasa came. Is a verb. Chumla, failure. And then, Endal Mudiri. So, now you, you can say Enda. Mafulun fihi. And if you said Sister Mena Zarf, it's okay. Both are alright. Huh? But at least you know the, the meaning of Mafulun fihi and how do we use it. Sahi? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, did you write down Mafulun fihi? Yes, Sister uh, Madina. Abhi pardon? Amsi? Amsi is a zarf. Yeah, it's mabni. Huh? It's mabni. We are going to learn. Sister Madina, write down I'm, what I'm saying. Number four. What is number four? Bafulun fihi. Write down next to it. Lesson number twelve. Bafulun fihi. Lesson is? Lesson number twelve. Page ninety-six. This is where we will learn the concept of mafulun fihi in great detail. Huh? And everything will come, why amsi and how we describe amsi, inshallah. Al-maf'oolu ma'ahu. No, but then this, oh, li ajulihi. 
Huh? What is the meaning of li ajlihi? Because of it. So this also comes in the Quran. What is the sentence? Can you read it? No vowel signs. Ma kharashtu min al bayti khawfan. Whether, what was the reason that you did not go out of the house? For the reason of fear of heat. Are you with me, brother? So, what will you describe? How fun? Kharaja uh, is not a, a transitive verb. It does not need mafulun bihi. Uh, now, this is how fun will be called mafulun li ajlihi. Uh, for the reason of, for the cause, a reason of. Now, brothers and sisters, the use is not very frequent, but it comes in the Quran. This will come in the Quran, and we will study it. You know, again, there is a lesson number twenty-nine, page two hundred and I believe it is forty-six. Okay, that lesson will deal with mafulu liajulihi, and next one, brother and sister. Mafulu mahu. Now also the use is very little. Ma, you know, with. So here, sirtu. Okay, brother, sirtu. Wal jabala. Why jabala is mansu? Now again, the use of this is not very frequent. Sirtu. What is the meaning of sirtu? What is the verb? Sara yasiru. Ajwaf. Ajwaf. Yai, huh? Sara, he walked. Huh? Sara, Sara, Saru, Sarat, Sarata, Sirna, Sirta, Sirtuma, Sirtum, Sirti, Sirtuma, Sirtunna, Sirtu, Sirna, Sirtu, I walked, Wal Jabala, along the mountain. Are you with me? Write down the meaning, brothers and sisters. I walked along the mountain, by the mountain. Now, brother and sister, again, uh, it is not very frequent, but we must understand that there is something called al mafaulu ma'uhu. Now, remember, this is all advanced grammar, brother. Very advanced grammar. Okay? There is nothing more advanced than this now. Huh? There are only few concepts. Dr. Sahib told me once that those concepts are not very frequent, so I did not add it. Anything which was very important to, to understand Quran, he brought in. So this book relates to the Quran, brother. Alhamdulillah. So book for us, it would be a Jabala, it would be a... Ah, Jabala, Mansub. So, brother Abdul Samad, we are only doing Mansubat. No, I understand. Yeah. Huh? So, Sirtu is fail file. Yeah. Wal Jabala. So Jabala will be Mafulun Ma'ahu. So wow here is um, like, wow, wow, wow is this? Rahafu atfin. Wow is atfin. Okay. Inshallah, we'll, we'll learn, brothers and sisters. Mafulun mutlaq, our favorite. What is the translation of mafulun mutlaq? Absolute object. Huh? What is it called in English? Absolute object. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Uh, I gave you a little idea before. Dr. Saab is giving us more idea here. Lesson number 28. Sister Nasreen, lesson 28. Page number 238. We'll be studying Mafulun Mutlaq. Did I say page 238? What page is this? 15. Delhi is very far. Long way to go to Delhi. <laughs> Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But we will go, inshallah, one day <laughs> and reach it. <laughs> okay. But, Yakra'u Hamidun. Brother and sister, Kira'atan. Brother, see, what is Kira'atan? Masdar from Kara'a. Huh? Masdar from Kara'a. And it is Mansu. Huh? So you will say, Yakra'u Hamidun. Kira'atan jayidatan. And if you say, 
Brother and sister, yakrau hamidun jaydan, then jaydan will become mafulun mutlak. But if you mention mafulun mutlak kiraatan, then jaydan is the naat. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I have one more sentence for you to write, brothers and sisters. I want to write another sentence. Antum, Allah, find, remember Allah, Zikran, now Zikran, what is Zakara? Yadkuru, Zikran, is the master, huh? so you say Zikran Kasiya, you cannot translate this, the sweetness is in its original form, language, an original matan, the sweetness is there. And we got to learn that language in order to feel the magic of Quran, brothers and sisters. And inshallah, as we progress, you will be noticing all these things. Brother Kathiran, what is Kathiran? Nah. Now if I say to you, Uthkurullah Kathiran, Kathiran is now full mutlaq because it represents Zikran Kathiran. All these things we are going to study in lesson number 28, inshallah. Fine. Oh brother, hal has come. Hal kaisa hai janab ka? Kya khayal hai aap ka? <laughs> are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very important lesson. A very important lesson. Huh? Jaddi. Brother, what is Jaddi. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla. So what are we looking for? Muptida. Where is Muptida? Jaddu. Huh? How will you describe Jaddi? So you'll say Jaddi. Muptida. Marfu'un. Wa alamatu rafa'ihi. Dammatun. Mukaddaratun. Alama. Kabla yai. Mutakallami. Before the ya mutakallam, there's a tamma there. Are you with me? Wahua mudaf. And then what will you say? Ya? Mudaf ilayhi. Okay, brother. My grandfather. Okay, give me the news. What is the news? Yusalli. What is Yusalli? Salla. Yusalli. What form is this? Salla. Form. Two. Bab. Tafail. Huh? Okay, Yusalli. Describe Yusalli. Fialun, Mudariun, Marfuun, Bidammatil, Mukaddara. Dammatil, Mukaddara. See, now we can say with ease, you know, uh, where is the file? Mustatir, Takdiruhu, Huwa, Yadullu ala, Jaddi. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, brother, my grandfather. Prays, okay. In what condition does he pray? Kaidan. See, Kaidan. It became Mansub. Huh? Kaidan. Oh, what is this Kaidan? Is it Mafurun Bihi? Is it Mafurun Mutlaq? No, it is Hal. It describes the condition. Huh? And we'll be soon learning. Are you with me? I'm just throwing things at you. You can just put it from one ear and take it out from the other ear. That's fine. Whenever there is a hal, brother and sister, what did I say? Repeat after me. Whenever there is a hal, sister Maimuna, there is a sahibul hal. <laughs> what is it? Sahibul hal. You know, hal has to go somewhere. And that is sahibul hal. We are going to learn. We are not going to learn now. We will learn these things in all uh, the lesson number. Where is the lesson number? Lesson number 31. Baskin Robbins 31 ice cream. Huh? <laughs> lesson number 31. Are you with me? Is that lesson deals with hal. In all kinds of situations we will be. And this comes in the Quran a lot. Hal comes very frequently. Mafulun mutlaq comes very frequently in the Quran, brother and sister. Wa qad fa'za 
thousand azim and see, this is not full of And you cannot translate, brother and sister. You cannot justify doing translation. Oh, brother and sister, our favorite, Tamiz. Huh? Tamiz has come. Lesson number 30, you can write down. Page number 250. And Hal was page 254. Huh? Tamiz. What is Tamiz? Look at it. Tam Yi Zu. What is Tamiz? Tafail, mashallah. It is, see, it should click in your mind. It is Tafail. Okay, brother, give me the verb. Mayaza, mashallah. Mayaza, you mayizu. Tamayiz. See, these things, as I said, and I repeated so many times, will come to you in a split of second. As you go along, as you practice, uh, mayaza, you mayizu, tamayiz. Uh, is to distinguish something. We're going to learn in detail. Uh, tamayiz is a noun which clarifies an ambiguity. Are you with me? Which clarifies something which is not clear. For example, here is beautiful sentence. We did it in book two. Ana akbaru minka. I am older than you, brother. If you stop here, then I am wondering. Huh? So it is ambiguous. Now we have to bring Tamiz to clarify. Huh? So, Ana Akbaru Menka Sinnan. See, Mansub Sinnan. What is Sinnan? Tamizun Mansubun. Huh? Ana, brothers and sisters? No, no, no. no more, brother. That was in book one. Damirun Munfasilun Mabniun Ala Sukun Fi Mahali. Rafa'in Mubtada. Akbaru Khabarun Marfu'un Wa alamatu Rafa'ihi Dammatun Zahira. Min ka? Min harf char. Ka? Damirun Muttasilun Mabniun ala Fata. Fi mahalli Jarrin. Ismu Majroor. Are you ismu? Fine. This is the way we will, we can do it. Sometimes I will do it, not all the time, because otherwise it will take a long time to study. But you know something I'm afraid? You will insist that we want to do now <laughs> the whole of it. Okay. Sinnan, brother. Before, if I say only to you, Ana Akbaru Minka, maybe Malan. Are you with me? Maybe Malan. Maybe. Uh, Ibn, I've got more children. Or maybe Brother Muhammad, I can say, Ana Akbaru Minka Zaujan. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, I, I write down one more sentence. Huh? You don't mind my, you know, sometimes joke here and there. Uh, I'll write down another sentence, brother. Ana Ahsanu Minka See when Min comes then it is comparative degree Remember, uh, min means then. Ana ahsanu minka khattan. What is the translation? In writing. Uh, that's it. So, Sister Afsa, this is your tummies. Uh, okay. We'll